And over to you is where like other companies in the world, American cult bike maker Harley Davidson is also under pressure as demand for high end motorcycles has nearly eroded after coronavirus pandemic. Now company will lay off 500 employees. This year it's a part of new CEO's efforts to revive struggling motorcycle maker. Harley said measures announced will lay foundation for a five year strategic plan to revive sales. It will also result in $50 million restructuring charge in 2020, including $42 million in the second quarter. As part of the overhaul, CFO John Olin will leave the company effective immediately. Darrell Thomas, treasurer, will become interim chief financial officer. Harley Davidson's sales have been declining for the past five years in the U.S., its largest market. As its baby boomer customer base ages, the economic pain caused by coronavirus pandemic has further dented retail demand there. The Milwaukee-based company has already cut production, leading to 140 job cuts last month at its factories in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, U.S. The latest cuts are in addition to those layoffs. The new CEO, Zaitz, who took over in February, is hailed for turning around the Puma brand near banked up business. His restructuring strategy, dubbed the Rewire, is aimed at making Harley a leaner and more nimble organization. It seeks to reset product lines, focus on companies' core strengths, and prioritize profitable markets.